Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new How to Make a Game Like Super Power Training Simulator video. In today's video, we will be making the damage reflection power up, and um, that's actually it. So, let's get started with the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add two remote events into replicated storage. One will be called take damage and then the other one will be called fire take damage. So what you're going to want to do now is going to server script service and add a new script. Call this script take damage script. We'll do local event is equal to game colon get service replicated storage and we'll do dot not fire take damage but take damage we'll do event dot on server event colon connect function and get the player and the hit by so now what we're going to want to do is get the character from our player so we'll do local local char is equal to player dot character and basically what this is going to allow us to do is like uh, damage this character the player by using their character and the humanoid um, so then what we're going to do next is get the hit by strength so like the amount of strength that the person we were hit by has so we'll do local hit by strength is equal to hit by dot strength um, we'll do local endurance endurance is equal to player dot endurance dot value also make sure hit by strength is equal to hit by dot strength dot value and um, then the last thing we'll need is hit by char is equal to hit by dot character Alright, so now what we want to do is make is check if the endurance is greater than um, uh, hit by strength times 10, then what we want to do is hit by char dot humanoid dot, um, not dot, but colon take damage and hit by char dot human actually we can just do hit by char dot humanoid dot health is equal to zero now what, what we want to do before this is make an if statement that checks if the players are safe so if they're in the safe zone or not so we'll do if um if player dot safe dot value or we should do if not player dot safe dot value and not uh, hit by char dot safe dot value then whoops then that and that so if um if we have let me just explain this power up a little more because I forgot to do it at the very beginning of the video so basically what happens is if you have 10 times the strength then the player that you hit has endurance then basically um you will instantly kill them or what I should say is if you have ten, um, 10 times the endurance or more than 10 times endurance then all right sorry guys if you if if you have more endurance than the person that is attacking you has strength multiplied by 10 then basically you will insta kill the person that is attacking you if you have more endurance but not 10 times more endurance than they have strength, then you will reflect back 10% of the damage and you will take 90% of the damage. And then, um, if none of that would happen, you just take the actual damage. So, we'll next do an else if, else if endurance, endurance, dot, not, we don't even need endurance stuff out it, we just check else if, endurance is greater than hit by strength um, then what we're going to want to do is hit by char 
dot humanoid humanoid colon take damage and we want to take the hit by strain multiplied by 0 0.1 so this will give us 90 percent of the I mean 10 percent of the damage um so we will make the person that is attacking you take 10 percent of the damage that they put on you and then we want to um, do char dot humanoid dot not dot colon take damage and hit by strength multiplied by 0 0.9 alright so now these values are good and this should make it so that you take 90 percent of the damage alright and then what we want to do is to say else then um, char dot humanoid humanoid colon take damage and uh, just hit by strength alright guys so that is it for that script so now what we want to do is going to start a GUI and insert a local script uh, we can call this fire take damage script so fire take damage we don't need the script part uh, we'll do game colon get service replicate storage dot uh, fire take damage dot on client event colon connect function player and hit by and then what we're going to want to do is game colon get service replicate storage dot take damage um, colon fire server player comma hit by so we have to do this because we're going to be calling the take damage uh, thing from the server from a different server script and we can't actually do that we can't call an on server event thing from the server and we need it to be on the server so we're just we're just making a local one too that will fire that for us all right guys so now what we do is go into our create power script and anywhere else we do damage and we make this local take damage variable which is equal to game colon get service replicate storage dot fire take damage and then down here um, after this check before we make the creator tag we want to call our we want to do take damage colon fire client and we want to pass in the player and then this player which is the person that um that shot at us the person that shot all right so uh then after we have that what we're going to want to do is go into our punch tool so in starter pack punch handle and script and we're going to want to do the same thing. So local damage is equal to game colon get service replicate storage dot fire take damage. And then take damage colon fire client game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent and player. Alright guys so now this should all work great. And if we save our game now and we go over to this test tab and start a local server with two players so that we can we can try this with two players and not just one um, and we'll be able to see if it works so you see over here we have our two servers two players open up uh, side by side oh yeah our health looks like that because I forgot to mention I made us I changed the later set so I start at uh, 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 1500 endurance so that I don't have to like get super high and I felt like that was a good number alright so what I want to do is just come over here and also one change I did make that I forgot to show you is in this punch tool I wrap um, instead of having that while wait thing which was dumb we changed that with a script dot parent dot parent that activated colon connect function and then and, and this is so that we can only damage players when we click so when we use our punch tool alright so now if I um, over here if I just go here and I just punch him, nothing happens. I mean, we have the same amount of endurance. Uh, so nothing really happens much. Um, and then if I go to our server, or wait, safe is not a valid member of workspace. Oh, okay, my bad, guys. Uh, I didn't even realize I did that. Let's just clean up our servers. Server script service, take damage. Uh, where is it? Take the M script, and this should just be hit by, not hit by char dot save that value. So now, if we start this server, 
then we should be good to go. All right, guys. So now we have um, now we changed that and it should work. So if we walk out of the safe zone real quickly, see we have that GUI that tells us when we're in the safe zone. All right, so I'm outside of the safe zone now um, on this screen and that screen. And if I punch, then you see I die instead of him. And that is because I have 102 strength and he has 1,500 endurance. Now watch this, guys. If I go over to the server over here and I go into our players tab in players 2 and um, or player 1 actually, and we change their endurance to be at um, at 900. Then uh, watch what's going to happen now. Let's go over here. Got to walk out of the safe zone again. All right. So now that I'm back here, let's uh, let's try this. Hopefully. Right, well, it does work, but um, we'll have to do something about that. So the actual damage reflection is working perfectly, so that's good. And yeah, now the last thing we want to test is the players. Go in players, player one, and we want to have endurance of 99. And then if we go out here, we have endurance of 99 and let's see this we're gonna instantly die now yeah all right cool so everything is working as should and that's good so now we can clean it up and that's it um so yeah that is it for today's video guys, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you out, which I'm sure it did, or else you wouldn't have been watching it. So please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, we're aiming for 1000 subscribers by mid-September, road to 1k guys, help me out please. Um, so that being said guys, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next episode in the series. And comment below anything, really. Um, and yeah, that being said, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.